Khufu, was an ancient Egyptian monarch, who was the second pharaoh of the fourth dynasty, in the first half of the Old Kingdom period. Khufu succeeded his father, Sneferu as king. He is generally accepted as having commissioned the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The only completely preserved portrait of the king is, a three-inch high ivory figurine found in a temple ruin, of a later period at Abydos. All other reliefs and statues were found in fragments, and many buildings of Khufu are lost. Everything known about Khufu comes from inscriptions in his necropolis at Giza, and later documents. The royal family of Khufu was quite large. It is uncertain, if Khufu was actually the biological son of Sneferu. Egyptologists believe, Sneferu was Khufu's father, but only because it was handed down by later historians that, the eldest son or a selected descendant would inherit the throne. Khufu's mother was Queen Head Affairs, who was likely Sneferu's half-sister. Khufu married Queen Mary Tites and Queen Henutsen. It was Queen Mary Tites, who gave birth to Khufu's heir to the throne, Prince Kawab. However, Prince Kawab died before Khufu, and was never able to assume his kingship. It has been suspected that, he was the victim of foul play, perhaps murdered by Jadefra, one of his brothers. Khufu had nine sons and fifteen daughters, and every one of them was somehow placed in the royal court, with impressive positions. Thousands of years after his reign, Khufu is widely believed to have been a cruel king to the Egyptian people. However, there is not a lot of evidence to support this. Rumors have existed for millennia, that the king forced people as slaves to build his pyramid, but there is evidence to suggest that the laborers were paid for their work. Khufu exchanged the life of a criminal, to allow a magician to test his skills of resurrection. It is because of these rumors that Khufu is not just a famous pharaoh, but an infamous one as well. Within Egypt, Khufu is documented in several building inscriptions and statues. Khufu name appears in inscriptions at El Kab, Elephantine, and in local quarries at Hatnab and Wadi Hammamat. At Wadi Magari, in the Sinai rock inscription depicts, Khufu with the double crown. Khufu sent several expeditions, in an attempt to find turquoise and copper mines. Khufu also entertained contacts with Byblos. He sent several expeditions to Byblos, in an attempt to trade copper tools and weapons, for precious Lebanon cedar wood. The Great Pyramid at Giza, is Khufu's best known legacy. It remains one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. At the time, and through the millennia, the remarkably advanced technology, and insight lent to Egypt's reputation as being a highly sophisticated civilization, to the rest of the world. The Great Pyramid at Giza took approximately 20 years to build. It stood 480 feet tall, 31 of which have eroded since the time of the pharaoh. It remained the tallest man-made structure in the entire world, for nearly 4,000 years. The pyramid's architect, Hemiunu doubled as Khufu's vizier, which made Hemiunu the second most powerful man in Egypt at the time. Khufu believed, the Great Pyramid was his stairway to heaven. The Great Pyramid was the first of its kind, in that the sides were smooth, as opposed to having steps, also the sides perfectly correspond with the cardinal points of a compass. There are two entrance ways into the Great Pyramid. The original entrance is 55 feet above the ground, and off-center. The second was created by Arab soldiers, who spent three months carving their way through the rock. This is known as the forced entrance. Dating back in time, 5,000 years ago, the Abydos boats were created. 14 vessels have been discovered at 60 to 80 feet high. They were found in Abydos, Egypt, nearly 8 miles from the Nile River. These boats were intended to help the deceased king reach the afterlife. The Abydos boats served as the prototype for later, actual and symbolic funerary boats for future kings. It had been sealed into a pit, at the Great Pyramid at Giza around 2500 BC. This ship was intended to carry Khufu to the sun god Rea, while together they sailed the heavenly Nile. No great change in the practice of religion under Khufu, but a proof of the rise in the worship of the god Ra.
This worship has been recognized, but rarely seen since the first dynasty.